Hello everyone, this is Andre at Simwell. In this video, we will demonstrate one of the new features of Arena version 15.1. If you go to the newsletter on the Arena website, there is a full list of features. And here, the direct read has uh, had several improvements in this version. So in addition to, to being able to import variables and expressions, we may now import several other types of objects to make modeling more flexible. And today we will show you how to import conveyor objects. So once you open Arena version 15.1, you may go to File and Browse Smarts, where several small models are there to help you understand all of the features of the software. In the conveyors folder, there is a model called Data Direct Read from Excel. And in that same folder, there's actually also a conveyor data file, which we will show at the same time. So let's open the model, conveyor data direct read from Excel. So this model features one uh, straight, uh, one linear conveyor with a curve here in the, in the animation so that um, there actually are 11 stations, so 10 segments animated here. And that conveyor is defined, of course, in the advanced transfer panel. Now, the, the data for that conveyor and its segments will be imported from the conveyor data file, which includes two record sets here. So conveyor data here is includes velocity, cell size, and max cells occupied. And the, the other range here, the segments, includes the station names and the length of the segments. So if we go back to advanced process file, the file was defined here. Conveyor data file is the name and the file name. And the record sets have been defined here to match the name ranges in the Excel spreadsheet. So if you do view here, we will see the values coming from the Excel spreadsheet. We can close Excel for now. And actually here there are print screens of the Excel spreadsheet. So now these two record sets are used to define the conveyor itself and its segments. So if you go to the conveyor, the file name was, has been set here and the record set has been selected. So usually in conveyors, you have these three additional columns which are hidden because our conveyor imports its data. So velocity, cell size, and max cells occupied will come from the data file. As for the segments, they're defined here, conveyor1.segment. And if we go here, same thing, we, we, we chose the conveyor data file and the conveyor segments record set. So we don't need to define manually here which stations and lengths they are. So if we run this model now, we will just see what the behavior is. So different parts are being created and the entity picture shows the number of the station, which is the destination. So just to show what happens if we change a value in the Excel. So if I go and change the velocity from 10 to two, for example, if I don't change my animation run speed, you'll see that the parts travel a lot slower. So the direct read is working just fine. So obviously it would be possible to also change the, the length of the segments or the number of segments and the logic would adjust accordingly. So one example of a real life project where this would be very valuable is for example, if we would were analyzing a sorting facility for a big courier company, for example, and if they, they were designing a section of a building where there are several branches of conveyors going to, to areas of storage or to, to docks for, for loading uh, trucks or something. Um, so the number of segments and, the, and the, the lengths of each branch of the conveyor could be easily changed and adjusted and the logic would use these, um, these adjusted conveyors and be able to test a lot of different scenarios very easily with the new direct read of the conveyors. Thank you for watching. Simwell is an Arena Premier Partner. We provide consulting, coaching, training, and support. And remember, if you simulate, 
Simwell.